Okay guys, so welcome to my new mini-series that I'm going to be starting, and it is going to be my Arduino mini-series. So, if you're not familiar with Arduino, it is basically a Atmega microprocessor. And what does that mean? Well, in layman's terms, it's basically a computer. It's a mini-computer, uh, definitely not the same specs you'd be used to in a computer, but you can do a lot of cool things with it and interact with it in a really low level. And Throughout this series, uh, I'm actually going to be covering how to do a lot of those things. So let's get started. I'm actually just going to kind of do an overview of your Arduino today. Now the first thing that I'm going to be uh, talking about is very simple. It's the USB plug. So this guy right here, the silver guy, is going to be what you connect your Arduino to your computer with. And it is just a Type B. You can see the square. Uh, it's the big one. And if you buy an Arduino, Depending on the kit, it may or may not come with one, but they're very cheap. You can get one on Amazon for almost nothing. Next is this guy. This is a DC power jack, and this allows you to use your Arduino without it being plugged into the computer. Very cool for some projects. You can basically load up your code and run it right away. And it's nice because then you don't have to always have a computer by your side. You can run it a bunch of different ways. So next I'm going to cover some of these pins. This first set of pins are basically your power pins. It has a reset pin, that's a hardware reset, same as this button that I'll cover in a minute. You have 5 volts power supply, 3.3 volts, ground, and some different VIN pins. We can cover those later, won't get into it too much right now. Next, you have analog in pins. So this allows you to, to do analog to digital conversion. Next, these are just some different header pins. These are what different shields use. Next is the reset button, this little guy here. Next, we're going to have our digital pins. These are very nice, very useful, because they allow us to do different things. So digital, if you're not familiar, differs from analog because it's either on or off, high or low, uh, there's no in between. But it's very simple to use them. It's one simple command that I'll cover in, in the upcoming videos and they can also do PWM or pulse width modulation which is a very cool thing basically allows it to create an analog voltage on a digital pin I'll cover how all of that works in an upcoming video I already have it planned out and everything next we have just the remainder of our digital pins uh, there are 13 digital pins in total on the Arduino Uno the Pro has a larger amount nanos have different amounts so it really varies but they all serve the same purpose they kind of you know do the digital thing and that's that's it and only it uh, next you have some more header pins you'll see that I have the surface mount edition of the Arduino now that doesn't make any of the programs any different they run exactly the same as the non surface mount or large IC component Arduino and this guy right here is just because I bought the inventor's kit. This is just a little breadboard. And you can get one of these if you did not get the inventor's kit for a really good price online. Um, I'll post a source. Now, you're probably thinking, what if I do not have the Arduino Uno? What if I have a Due Mille Nove or the new one, the Due? That one's really cool. And there's all kinds of different Arduinos, whether you have a Pro, Nano, Leonardo, Due, Uno, Due Mille Nove, I mean, they're all very similar in the way they operate. Most of these tutorials will apply regardless of which Arduino you have, so no need to worry. In the next video, I'm going to cover actually setting up your Arduino, so downloading the software from Arduino, as well as getting it all working, making sure your libraries work, and then the episode after that, we're going to be running our first program on the Arduino. It'll be a simple Blink program. If you have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask. Just uh, leave a comment or send me a message. Also, don't be shy to tell me what you want to learn to do on Arduino. There's an endless amount of things, but um, I'll try to cover you know as many as I can. I already have a good a good list of them planned out. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.